Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. The National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received an elite of Royal Guard servicemen who were assigned to attempt the challenge of climbing Mount Everest in the Himalayas in Nepal. His Highness gave them directives and urged them to exert all efforts to honor Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, wishing them success in their challenge. He stressed the Royal Guard's keenness to train its affiliates to assume their assigned duties under all circumstances. The three-phase challenge includes two training stages before the challenge of reaching Mount Everest Peak and the third stage scheduled for 2021. Under the patronage of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani, and with the participation of the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, members of both representatives and Shura Councils, UK Ambassador and UN Coordinator to Bahrain, the Foreign Affairs Ministry organized a remote workshop under the theme The Legislative Authority Role in Protecting and Enhancing Human Rights and Preparing a National Plan for Human Rights. Zainal expressed pride in participating in this important workshop and added that Bahrain made numerous achievements in the field of human rights under the reform project of His Majesty the King. She added that this workshop will have many important outcomes to set the National Plan for Human Rights and will support Development March. As Saleh said that the reform project of His Majesty the King contributed to making numerous accomplishments in the field of human rights through a number of legislations and international agreements. He added that these legislation affirm the rights and freedoms in line with the Constitution to guarantee human rights. Dr. Zayani praised the achievements of the Kingdom in this field and added that the initiatives of His Majesty the King affirms the Kingdom's keenness to enhance the human rights and justice, which goes in line with the efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He added that the Kingdom of Bahrain is proud of what it has achieved in the field of human rights, starting with the advanced legislative system, the establishment of national human rights bodies, the establishment of the General Secretariat for Complaints, the development of rehabilitation and reform centers, the adoption of the Alternative Penal Code, the strengthening of efforts to combat human trafficking, and its recent accession to membership of the Human Rights Council of the United Nations. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the Traffic Council meeting in the presence of the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Naimi, and the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed. In addition to the Under Secretaries of the Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, and the CEO of the Urban Planning and Development Authority, as well as a number of representatives from ministries and parliament. The Interior Minister welcomed the members, affirming the importance of continuing efforts to reinforce traffic safety. Dr. Naimi expressed appreciation for the role played by the General Directorate of Traffic and the Community Police. The Traffic Council discussed a number of topics on its agenda, including integrated model projects for mobility and land use. The Minister of Interior commended this initiative, noting the importance of following the most advanced international standards in project planning and ex execution. The Council then reviewed the development and expansion project of Al-Fatah Highway, where each way would consist of four lanes, which will raise its capacity to 138,000 vehicles a day. The Council also discussed the placement of traffic safety barriers on Zalag Highway. The Interior Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the Council for their continuous follow-up and efforts to maintain traffic safety. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,482 with 401 recoveries, 350 registered new cases and 3 deaths. 147 of the new cases were detected among expatriates and 203 are contacts of active cases. The deceased were two female citizens aged 52 and 62 and a female expatriate aged 49. 
The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions, as well as avoid public places when possible.